Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. Today I wanted to share my current favorites with you guys. So I have some makeup, some hair care, I have a nail polish to share with you guys. I even have a couple fashion items I wanted to share with you guys. And I have not done a favorites video since November, but I kind of decided that in 2019, I didn't want to do these monthly anymore because my favorites videos tend to be pretty short. I'm very particular with the products that I will call a favorite and feature in a favorites video. So doing them every month, they kind of ended up pretty small. So I figured that for 2019, it would just make a little bit more sense for my channel to do these more like seasonally. So this is like my favorites video winter edition, but I don't want to call it my winter favorites because then you'll think these are winter themed products, but they're not. These are just current favorites. So let's go ahead and hop into it. If you like this eye look, I did film it using the Sigma Viper palette. This is going to be one of the three looks in my next old palettes new looks video. It's going to be going up in a couple weeks. So this is kind of like a teaser because you won't actually get this tutorial for a little while, but I did film it and it's coming. Also, I just made some tea. And look how cute this mug is. It has a little Boston on it and it says best dog mom ever. Derek got me for this for Christmas last year. Well, actually Cass got it for me, if you know what I mean. Do you guys do that? Do you give Christmas presents from your animals? Because we always do that, especially like my parents do that all the time. They'll be like, oh, this is from Lucy, that's their dog. And these are from like their cats. Do you guys do that? Do you give presents from your animals? Because we do. So some of these products you might be able to guess at this point because you've been seeing me use them very consistently for the past few months and this is a product that I don't think will come at any surprise. This is my Milk Makeup Cream Bronzing Stick. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I waited so long to buy this. I bought this in the last Sephora VIB sale and I've been into cream products for a while now so I should have just bought this right away because I had heard great things about it and it is definitely worth the hype. This comes in two colors and I have the shade Baked. It's actually the bronzer I'm wearing today. I don't have a powder bronzer on top of it. This is just what I'm wearing. This is a really great formula if you're new to creams and you're intimidated by creams because this is very blendable and it's very natural on the skin. This is a product that you can apply and it's not gonna move around your foundation and it's not gonna be as tricky to use as some other bronzers. This is pretty foolproof when it comes to cream bronzing because it isn't going to mess with the other products. Also with the skin, I discovered a new highlighter this month and oh my goodness, this is beautiful. So this is the shade Zuma from Persona Cosmetics. Now I don't hear a lot of people talking about this, but the people that do talk about it, they love it. Like if you've tried this, you're like, yeah, it's pretty freaking amazing. So they do come in three shades. This is actually the middle shade. And on my skin tone, if I don't have a self tan, it's almost a hair too dark. So if you are much lighter than I am, I would definitely go with the highlighter that's a shade above this. But I will share a swatch of it with you guys. This is so intense. It is so metallic on the skin. So if you're a subtle highlight kind of gal, I think this is going to be a little bit too bold for your taste. It is just like almost wet and reflective and it's a very beautiful gold tone. So if you have a very cool undertone to your skin, I don't think you're gonna like this color, but if you are a lot warmer and you like very warm highlights, this is amazing. So my next favorite is a brush. This is the Spotlight Diffuser from Sigma, the E, or no, excuse me, the F37. Now this is a brush that tapers off. It's very, very fluffy, so it, it's not very dense or anything like that. It's definitely very bendy. And what I like using this for is to really diffuse products onto the cheek. So if I have a product that's very pigmented and I have to be careful not to apply too much, this is always the brush that I use. And lately a brush, a blush that I've been loving is the Burt's Bees blush in Toasted Cinnamon. I didn't want to put this in my favorites video yet because I've only been loving it for about a week or two and I want these to be things that I've really been loving for a while now. But with this blush, it's very pigmented. So if I go in with my regular blush brush, I'm going to get just a huge deposit on the skin. But with this, I kind of twirl my brush around it, tap it off, and then I kind of go into the skin just dusting it over like that. And it gives this very diffused, soft look to any product. So if you have something that's very intense and you wanna like sheer it out, you wanna buff it in, make it look super natural, this blush will do that. I also use this to set my skin. I use this for so many things. And whenever I'm using this brush in a tutorial, I will get a question. 
what was that brush? What brush were you using for that? Uh, it's the Spotlight Diffuser from Sigma. For some reason in this favorites video, a bulk of this video is all lipsticks. So I hope you like lipsticks. I've got a lot to recommend that I've been loving recently. And first I wanted to share a drugstore formula. These are the Physicians Formula Healthy Lips. Now these two are minis. I have a few other minis, but I wore these two colors earlier in the week, which is why I wanted to grab them out. First is the shade Magenta Formula. This is like a really pretty magenta hot pink color. And then this one I just wore, this is the shade Nut Ricious. It's a really pretty like 90s brown with a red undertone. This formula is fantastic. I mentioned these in a dupes video and told you guys how similar they are to the Ofra liquid lipsticks because they're very moussey and they sit so comfortably on the lips. They don't dry down completely, completely. Like there's, you could still get a tiny bit of transfer, but that's the reason they're so comfortable. And honestly, these are the best drugstore liquid lipsticks that I have found. And I'm not even a liquid lipstick person, even though I have one more to recommend. But this formula is so comfortable. So let me just get the other liquid lipsticks out of the way. These are season one of the Persona liquid lipsticks. These are so good. I am just sitting here waiting for them to come out with season two or whatever it's gonna be with more shades because this formula is amazing. Hopefully my camera is not shaking because Tilly is rubbing on the tripod. But uh, this is Flamingo right there. It's a really pretty pink. This is my favorite. I've been wearing this the most. I even had a comment the other day like, wow, you've been wearing that lipstick a lot. This is the shade OG. And then they have a classic red. Mine is broken. That's the only sad part. The cap came off. Well, it like came unattached. I need to glue it or something. But that is holy grail. Now, these are just as comfortable as the Physician's Formula one, but a very different formula. So the Physician's Formula ones are a little bit thicker, a little bit moussier. These are a very, very thin liquid when they're applied, and they dry down extremely matte. But because they are so thin, they're actually very hydrating. They don't leave my lips feeling as dry as other liquid lipsticks. They are still a little bit drying, slightly more drying than the... Physicians Formula ones that I just mentioned, but even as someone who's pretty picky with drying lipsticks, I really enjoy these. I love the formula, all three of these colors, I can't stop reaching for, especially OG, it's been my go-to. And the third lip formula to mention comes from the Lip Bar. This is one of their lipsticks, and the shade is called Baby Bellini. And if you love brown, almost a little peachy nudes, this is amazing. This is my super like go-to reliable lip color. If I'm doing a look and I'm like, oh, I don't really know what to pair this with, Baby Bellini will work every time. This formula is so comfortable. It's not the most long wearing. It is a lipstick, not a liquid lipstick, so it's not necessarily intended to last forever, but it fades very gracefully. It's not coming off patchy. It's not coming off unevenly. And the formula is so hydrating. And can you guess maybe what my favorite palette is? Of course, it is the Magic Palette from Juvia's Place. I cannot stop reaching for this. I actually had to force myself to put it back this round in my Shop Me stash because I was like starting to neglect my other palettes because I feel like I can do so much with this. I even mentioned it in my If I Could Only Pick One video. I said this would be the palette I would keep. It is so versatile. It is the same Juvia's Place formula that I love, so if you enjoy the quality of their shadows, it is the same with this. I didn't think I needed this palette at first, which is why I held off from buying it for so long, but now that I own it, I realize that the shades are even more unique than I thought they were, and I thought they were pretty unique to begin with. Like, I just did a look the other day with Nubia and Buzo, and I actually filmed that for my Instagram, so if you haven't seen it, check out my Instagram, but I took just like a little bit of this shade, kind of patted it on the lid to get a bit of a green base so that I could pull out the green undertone in this, and then I layered that on top. Oh my goodness, it was amazing. This is a great palette for mixing with other palettes. I did a look the other day with this green and the mint green from the Juvia's Place Deuce palette. I've done lots of purple looks with this. These two look like the same color, but they're not. This is like a deep cool tone purple, and this is like a deep navy blue. I've also done a palette bingo with this. I've done, I think I've done some other looks on Instagram with this, so if you want some more inspiration, check those out, but man, this is a great palette. 
I also wanted to mention a nail polish actually. So this is the shade of Peanut Butter from KL Polish. I'm pretty bummed KL Polish is uh, going out of business. So if you want this color, I would snag it up now. But it's like a very, how do I explain this? It's like a mustard, but it's a little bit more orangey brown. It's so different on the nails. And for me, I feel that it's a fun brown color to wear on my nails. But if you have a very deep skin tone, this would be a beautiful warm nude. So. I think this is so pretty. I don't think the formula far surpasses some more affordable brands that I have, but the reason I love it is the color. And I'm so drawn to this color. I just painted my nails today and I actually was like very tempted to go with this color, but I was like, no, you've been wearing that a lot. You should do a different color. So I highly recommend this shade if you do like it. Whenever I wear it again, you guys are asking me, what's on your nails? What's on your nails? I also have the hair product to mention, and it's actually like soaking wet because I just took it out of my shower. But this I use every single time I take a shower, and I've been using this for a long time. It's not a product that I discovered in the past few months. I've been using this since at, since at least last summer. So I'm gonna leave a hair care routine from last summer in the description box down below because I get questions all the time about my hair. By the way, I did just highlight it, so if it looks a tiny bit lighter or a tiny bit different, that is why. But this is a must have for me. So this is from Kenra, it's their Brightening Intense Treatment. So it's a violet toning mask. So the color of it, um, I don't really know how to show you this, it's like dripping all over, but it's basically the color of the writing on here. It's a very, very dark purple and it's pretty thick. So they recommend using this maybe once or twice a week or every week or so. And they say to just use it on your own, but that's not what I do. So anytime I'm in the shower, I take my regular conditioner, which right now is actually also from Kenra. It's also their toning conditioner, but that's a lighter purple and I don't find it to be as intense. This is what makes all the difference. But any conditioner that you're using, I would put that in your hand and then I spray, or not spray, but I squirt a little bit of this in and then you mix it together and it turns your regular conditioner purple. So then I have a lot more to work with so I don't have to use too much of this. Does that make sense? But if you have blonde hair or you have any sort of blonde in your hair, I mean, you can't totally see my hair on camera, but especially at the ends, I have a lot of brightness and my hair tends to pull very orange and I don't mind a little bit of warmth to my hair, but a product like this definitely helps to kind of balance it out and keep it toned in between like processing. And finally, I have two fashion items to mention. These are two bags that I've been using. So these are both from the brand Melly Bianco and they were both sent to me, just a little disclaimer, but Melly Bianco is a brand that I think is so cool. They use only vegan leather. So if you are like me and you're cruelty free and you don't buy uh, leather, this is a great brand that has very cute, trendy handbags and they're high quality because a lot of times I will find like vegan leather or faux leather that I like, but it's kind of cheap and you know it's not gonna hold up that well, but these are such nice quality. So I do have two of their bags. So this one you guys saw me mention on my channel last fall. This is the Desi Plaid Cross Body. And this is the one that I've basically been wearing all winter. I tend to wear a lot of black in the winter, a lot of very dark colors. So this was my bag that I paired with it. It has this very like trendy plaid on it. And then the inside is pretty fun, it's polka dotted. It has like a zipper in the center and then you have a couple pockets on the inside. And then it has a long strap to it. So this one I haven't been wearing as much recently. I feel like I was wearing this a lot in the winter when I was wearing very dark colors. I mean, it's, who am I kidding? It's totally still winter where I live. It's still freezing out, but I've been trying to kind of get into the spring mood now that it's about to be March, even though March is not spring, but I've been going for some lighter colors. I say as I'm wearing black, but this is my current favorite, again, from Melly Bianco. Now, this is the Adele crossbody, and I like this because you can wear it very casual and you can wear it very dressy. So I've worn this out for like a nice fancy dinner, and I will take the strap, so the strap is a chain like this, and just tuck the strap in, and then wear it by this handle right here, and that's like perfect for a fancier look. It's super chic to have a little, like, tiny little handheld bag, handheld bag, that doesn't make sense, you know what I'm saying. I love the idea of a bag with like a tiny handle like this. But I also like to wear it from like a more casual outing, like I met my friend for coffee the other day and I wore it like 
uh, over my shoulder with the chain. So it's super cute to just wear like that. She complimented it. That was the first thing she showed me. She's like, oh, that's a cute bag. So I really enjoy this. It looks pretty tiny, but it's just big enough to fit my wallet in and my phone and my keys. So if you don't need like a giant bag, this is a great option. This just gets me so excited for spring. But that's gonna go ahead and complete this video. Those are all of my current favorites. You'll have to let me know down below which products you have been loving over the last few months and what you cannot stop reaching for right now. If you have tried any of these products, let me know what you think. But if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up so I know you liked it. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.